been half a month and we're still on Act 1. To Alex Fidel, I have been told that you wish to have an urgent meeting and talk about the suspects of your attempted assassination. I am more than happy to discuss it. Long live the Republic, Jean Nicolas Patch. Who's this guy? Whoever he is, only people who want him dead are the revolutionaries. Common folk and aristocrats are both in agreement, which is. Odd, but they both want him alive. Oh, did the defendant confess? Probably not. Was his act counter revolutionary? Probably yes. What accusations were found in Citizen Maxime's denunciation? was the defendant under the influence of alcohol during his arrest. That's what we're going to find out. Okay, so I'm going to open these up. Oh. I'm going to open these up. Um, if you pause, you can have a read. Yeah, so that's that one. And if you want to read this one, you can pause. Okay, I see. Interesting. And the final one here. You want, you can pause this one. See, he's a murderer, assault. And counter revolution. We don't get many murderers coming through here, so this is going to be an interesting one. Um, I'm going to read in my own time, so pause if you'd like. Okay, then, so this guy's a bit of a hothead. He gets into fights easy, he drinks a lot. His wife was decapitated last spring. Um, we don't know why. There's no records of that. Let's see what questions we have then. Uh, his violent temperaments. Personality? Victims' injuries. Yep. Landrous leaflets. Where did we read that? The weaving shop is the location. There we are. I think I need to reread some of these. Oh, that's right. He's putting up posters. Yeah. He's. Oh, whoops. That man is a murderer. We cannot be sure of anything else. Please introduce yourself. Laurent Pascal, weaver by trade. You stand accused of murdering Gendarme Rue. It was an accident. Smashing his skull open was an accident. So you are not pleading guilty? I'm saying it was an accident. So you're saying guilty. Yeah, that was an accident. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. That's one of the accusations. Nope. Oh, was that a trap?
Oh, there was motive. Ah! Oh shit, why didn't I... Duh! The victim's dead. How can you be a witness? That's everything, isn't it? Oh, well, there's, there's more for this. Yes! If you attend your shop by yourself, that's unimportant. Are you conducting counter revolutionary activity in your shop? Could be interesting. Hey, this is a. Um... Yeah. Oh no, I need to find this out. What was your wife sentenced for? To this day, I don't know for sure. They said subversive activity, whatever that means. What connections did she have? Were there any connections? Hey, that's my line. Her grandfather was an equerry in the former king's service. Someone informed on her, just like on me. And that was it. Did you receive instructions and Monica's leaflets from your wife's grandfather? He died 15 years ago. Were you present at your wife's trial? I had to collect goods for the shop and wasn't home for a few days. But that was enough for them to arrest and try her. They gave us. They... They gave us 10 minutes to have our last conversation. You understand? 10 minutes to say goodbye to the woman you love. The day after, they decapitated her in the square. The head of my beloved Marie, rolling in the dirt like a piece of rubbish. And is that the source of your drinking, probably? A little bit sad for him. Um, apparently, you have problems with alcohol. Do you have a wife? What does that have to do with anything? If you had to watch your wife get her head cut off for no reason, you'd have problems with alcohol as well. The judge has problems with wine because his wife is still alive. Hey, 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 hey. I stopped drinking. 16 days ago. Do you realize that the gendarme you killed was someone's son and husband? Does your wife's death excuse what you did? Yeah, exactly. You have nothing to say, do you? Murderer! Oh, they want him free? He killed a man! Manslaughter! I probably know the answer to this one already, but... Were you drunk that evening? I drink something every evening. Speak clearly. Did you drink on that evening? Yes. Monsieur de Jus. I think I'm allowed to drink wine in my own home. Are you always so aggressive after alcohol? I've never hurt anyone before. There's a first time for everything. That's exactly what I was thinking in my head.
People say you are prone to violence. Isn't that the only option in this filthy city? I know what you'd like to call me. An animal. A beast that run amok and killed senselessly. But do you know the real beast? Paris. This crazy, bloodthirsty creature. He's delirious. He's speaking in poetry. Everyone has a choice. Thousands of Parisians decide to lead a life where they are neither executioners nor victims. As you like, I know what I know. Was there a struggle that evening? I refused to go. I knew I'd end up like my wife. We know their type. Every other one has thick as pig shit. <laughs> okay. But the gendarmes had the right to arrest you. You should have not resisted. I didn't plan what happened. When I didn't let them restrain me, one of them punched me in the face. Then, someone, something in me snapped and I don't remember it well. Everything happened so fast. The whole situation would not have taken place. If you had been less aggressive, you had been more compliant, is what he means. How did Gendarme Ru die? Citizen Pascal. We were struggling. My Marie probably struggled too. I pushed that gendarme. He tripped and his face hit something. The door frame. His eyes rolled up and he fell to the floor, shaking. There was blood, a lot of blood. Call in the witness, Crystal Bar Remy. For the sake of protocol, please introduce yourself. Cristobal Remy, soldier in the National Guard. Oh, just one option. Could you describe what happened that evening? We went to the address, written in the order, and knocked on the door. It was supposed to be a routine procedure and we didn't expect any difficulties. How loud were you? The knocking was loud, true. I shouted that we were gendarmes. But that's not unusual. We always announce ourselves so they know they should open the door. Did you attack Citizen Pascal? When we told him the reason for our visit, he started shouting that he wouldn't go with us. So you decided to use force. I preach, try to catch him and lead him out as we always do. So you followed the rules. Police brutality! Of course. Right, because they never break them. Did you hit him in the head with your musket? Yes. Unfortunately, it was already too late. Uh. Now I'm not sure his manslaughter. Sounds like he was... It was in self-defense. Gendarme Ru and Remy paid you a visit in order to bring you in for questioning. Is that correct? Paid me a visit? Well, of course. They knocked on the door, we had some tea, we talked about the good old days. That's exactly what happened. Come off it. 
They banged on the door like they wanted the entire neighborhood to know what was going on. All the time bellowing about how they were coming to arrest me. What happened next? I let them in, of course. They immediately rushed in and pushed me around, trying to restrain me like I was some common thug. That's how they treat people. If you had simply let them restrain you, they would not have had to push you around. Resisting arrest does not paint you in a good light. But he was self-defending himself. Did the gendarme show you the arrest warrant? As if they ever do that. They didn't show it to my Mary. Just came at night armed like thugs. Did you have anything to do with Maxine withdrawing his denunciation? You know I was in a cell. What kind of stupid question is that? The judge could at least look at the notes. You were participating in a monarchist conspiracy. Who was helping you? Conspiracy? I was working like a horse. When was I supposed to have time to conspire? Do you tend your shop by yourself? Yes. I opened it with my wife, but now I run it alone. Did you start your counter-revolutionary activity when she was alive? Was that the reason for her sentence? There was no reason to decapitate her. They can put you in jail for no reason and not decapitation. Are you conducting counter-revolutionary activity in your shop? Of course not. That's absurd. A denunciation from someone named Maxine suggest something to the contrary. Didn't he take it back? Yes, but we do not know why. He was probably threatened by other plotters. Hint, hint. People, listen, there was no plot. Were you hanging posters on the streets of Paris? Annunciation said he was. Go and look in my shop again. But you won't find any posters or leaflets there. Do you have anything to do with these irreverent leaflets? The only thing I know about politics is that it killed my Marie. You have a vendetta, you have motive. Is that why you decided to become an enemy of the Republic? It does sound like motive. He probably wanted vengeance for his wife. He should have kept her under control. Oh, that's dodgy remark. Why would I? Would those leaflets bring my wife back? I would ask that the accused behave appropriately. Or what? Will you cut my head off for being rude? Yeah. Uh, let's wrap this up. I'm going to say yes. Um, yes, because everyone is. And yep. Was the defendant under the influence of alcohol during his arrest? He drank wine. Cha cha! And. I guess he's gonna get acquitted. See? There is justice here. I mean, I can't imagine your 
doing revolutionary stuff if the revolutionaries hate you. Was he the other way around? Anti revolutionary. Never mind. I acquit Citizen Pascal of all charges. You are free to go. It's a good thing there's someone just in this court. He admitted to the murder. Is that still not enough for you? It was self defense. Antoine, you watch your word. Well, he did confess, didn't he? Okay. It is good to finally meet you in person. I am truly sorry that you had to face such terror. If I only knew the bastard behind that despicable crime. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, we're, we're talking to the patch now. Okay. I have sensitive manipulation. Bullheaded. I would think humility be that, right? Um, assassination, searching for perpetrators. Let's reveal two of these. Withdrawn. Let's change this to careless. Make this one humility and aggression. Okay. Ha! Very weak, very weak, weak. Only got these two right. Okay. <laughs> Let's commence. Um, assassination, searching for perpetrators, not humility. Was he withdrawn? My Was wife is pressing me to find the perpetrators. As for me, I would gladly go back to my duties. Do you understand me, citizen? Oh, no, you didn't like that. Everyone I asked told me that Jean-Nicolas Pache was not a man who would turn a blind eye to such vile acts. Are the people of Perry wrong? As I have told you before, I feel sorry for you. Though let us leave this to the professionals, as we have more important issues to discuss. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... The future of this country will be determined by our fortitude and do we deserve to be praised by the people if we remain indifferent to their lamentations? These assassins are a threat to all inhabitants. It went up a bit. Madame Roland's facility needs reliable managers. Otherwise, it might be used for wicked purposes or even turned against us. And if I could share the profits with you. Ooh. Share the profits? Um, this one was bullheaded, so. Do me the honor of acknowledging our friendship and alliance. Together we will find the assassins and make Paris a more peaceful place. Too bad we did not meet earlier. You are such an intriguing man. Let us join forces. Huzzah! I got him intrigued enough. Um, since, you know, you all love me, I'm just going to put a bit more focus on the statue. You've got an inspection coming soon. Oh, whatever, Grandad. Oh, 
Ah. Um. Yep, that's all cool. I think if you come here, lower that. Oh, he's wounded. What have I taken back? Oh, three percent. Let's check our intrigue. Okay, meeting the mayor was a success. Uh, oh, we've got two branches here. That's the next day. How's this working out for us? Good, I think. Calling Marie Sylvie Patch. Before we act, David must confirm the nature of the relationship the mayor's daughter has with Beatrice Caron. If they are having an affair, Patch will be furious and you will help him make that one mistake we need so much. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Uh, David's presence should not raise any suspicions. Send your guard to take care of it. We don't not we do not have to hide. Let Rommel handle it. He knows every dark alley of the city. Huh. So diplomacy aggression or subterfuge. David is an artiste. Let's send David. 80% chance. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's burning. It's burning. Uh, this will be my next territory I'm going to take. Oh!